bonjour. Mes amis, and hello from Provence, from the Chateau du Varenne. We are on day four of our Provence vacation, and today we have rented out basically an entire chateau uh, near Avignon, and it is absolutely beautiful. So I thought what I might do is take you for a little walk around the chateau and out into the gardens so you can get a sense of how beautiful this place is. This is really a splurge. It's an incredible splurge. Also, it is my birthday, so that's why we're staying in a chateau. So, you know, I can spend my birthday with a glass of champagne sipped by a friend and uh, enjoy the beauty of this lovely chateau. So we're gonna be here for six nights. Uh, this was the idea of my friend Nina Sefuzati, who is staying here with me, who is our wonderful local guide. And this is what the Provence tour is going to do again in September. So come along with me and let's have a look at the chateau. Provençal dress, by the way, cute little market dress that I bought today. So this chateau has, uh, I think they, I want to say they have 12 or a uh, guest room, something like that. And we are just outside of Avignon in a town called Sauveterre. So come along and let's have a look. There's the reception here. It smells like roasting chicken, which I guess is what we're having for dinner tonight. They sell some cute things, jams and wines and things like that from the area. In this sitting room here, we have the bar with our friends who are making cocktails. It's an honor bar. And then over here we have a salon. I don't know if you can hear the cicadas, but the cicadas are making a lot of noise tonight. Here is the salon, which is lovely. So cheers to all of you. Happy birthday to me and cheers to all of you who are watching and thank you for always supporting me. And it's been a long ride, but here we are in a French chateau on my birthday. It's pretty awesome. Let's go outside and I'll show you the grounds outdoors. So if you can hear, those are cicadas. This is Provence in summer. It's about 80 degrees out here. And let's go around the side of the chateau here where our friends are. Oh, hello, poofy dog. Hello, poofy French dog. Here's what the exterior of the chateau looks like. Not bad. All right. And over here we have the terrace. My friends are gathering to share a bottle of champagne with me to celebrate my birthday. And then down here, sorry, Bonjour everybody and hello again from beautiful Provence. Uh, we are on our last day of our Provence tour with my friend Nina Sefuzati, who is from the town of Avignon. She's actually been uh, Danish originally, but has lived there most of her life. And today I just wanted to show you something kind of interesting about Avignon. So behind me, you can see the town of Avignon. You may have heard of it before because this was the place that the popes moved to in the 14th century. So there was a dispute between the French and the Italian contingencies during a conclave, and they decided to move the papacy up here to France, to Avignon. And they stayed here for about 100 years uh, and built a new palace. And you can see up here the new palace. We're staying in a place nearby 
called Savater, which is right next to Chateau Neuf de Pop. And that is where the Pope made his summer residence, kind of like Castle Gandolfo. What is fascinating though is behind me, that's Avignon. In between Avignon where I'm at, Villanova, there is the River Rhone, which you know, of course, from wine. Uh, but what's fascinating is this town, Villanova, the new village, has this enormous castle behind me here. Why is there an enormous castle in this tiny little village? It's because this was the response of the French kings. Of course, when the papacy moves here to France, that's going to be a threat to the politics and to the kings of the area, the power struggle between the papacy and kings is always going to exist for hundreds and hundreds of years. So their response is to build a castle bigger than the Pope's palace at Avignon. This castle now uh, has an abbey inside called uh, Saint Andre, which is actually owned by a private family. And I'm gonna take you on just a little stroll through their garden and through the interior of their beautiful home. But it's just an interesting thing standing up here and being right on the dividing line of power in the 14th century between the French kings here and over here, the papacy. Uh, you can see there's a tower, let's see, over in this direction here, right there. And that was a bridge that connected the two. So in the past, Villanova and Avignon were actually connected by a really long stone bridge. So let's go for a little stroll through uh, the castle up here and check out this beautiful abbey of Saint Andre that was owned actually by a former curator of the Louvre who was friend with, friends with the Queen Mother and had a very interesting life. So let's go, allons-y. <laughs>